Good morning. This is Pastor Gordon on our Monday Morning Motivations. I hope Jesus is Lord of your life. Let him in. Let him have his way. Be still and know that he's God. Uh, today, we're, we're going to be in Ephesians, and I, I want to pick up on in, in chapter 4 and verses 31 and 32. I want to deal with um, what we need to release and what we and how we need to respond that here it contextually is the walk of the believer and and we all struggle with our walk we all struggle with our wisdom we struggle with our worship we struggle with our wounds but here paul says in verse 31 let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice that's what god wants us to release now let me talk about these releases because Sometimes it's hard to release things because they are interwoven into our uh, frame of fractures and history and hurts. When it says, let all bitterness, we have to make a concerted effort to not be bitter with our past, our present, our future, not be bitter with people. Um, not be bitter with the providence of God where God is allowing us to be. Let all bitterness and wrath, that's hatred, and, and anger, being angry with people, holding them responsible for what we feel about ourselves, and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. So each day we got to work on the releases and, and, uh, and sometimes it's going to be difficult releasing feelings and 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 releasing uh, your sense of security as to where you are, and and we got to make a concerted effort to just pray, trust Jesus, Lord. I'm struggling in this area of release. I feel offended. I feel attacked. I feel um, rejected. Uh, uh, I feel lonely. I feel dis despaired. So. Paul says in the verse before that, grieve not the Holy Spirit whereby you are sealed until the day of redemption. And then he goes into this matter of releasing these negative feelings. How do we re release negative feelings? By faith. We have to say, Lord, you have to help me overcome these areas of my life. And then verse 32, he says, and be ye, here's the opposite, here's how we respond, be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. You know what's tremendous about this verse? That Paul, through the, uh, well, the Holy Spirit through Paul, links forgive, forgiveness with being um, kind and tender-hearted. That if we're not forgiving, it's going to be difficult to be kind and tender-hearted. Because he says, be ye kind and be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. So we have to release, we have to respond. And as we respond the way God would have us to respond, we will have peace and we we will have a a feeling of accomplishment as God continues to work on us. This walk is work. This walk is not a walk in the park. It's a warfare. And every day, our emotions are on the table. Our, our thinking is on the table. Our past is on the table. And how we feel about ourselves is on the table. That's what causes us to attack others. We don't feel good about ourselves. So today, we're going to concentrate and just by faith, giving this to the Lord, Lord, I need to come away feeling peaceful and feeling that you are a part of my walk today. In Jesus' name, amen.